Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. So this is going to be the intro for all 12 zodiac signs for the 2020 yearly energy readings. So if you watch it in one video then you can skip it on the other ones because it'll be exactly the same. But if you have not watched it and this is your first time watching it please watch until the end of this intro because there's important information here. Basically in these zodiac sign readings I will be giving you the 2020 overall energy, like what you can expect this year, some blockages, um, some things to look forward to, and some advice. And then in the extended video over on my Vimeo channel, I'll be getting more into your specific love life in 2020. Um, and that goes for those of you who are single and those of you who are in a relationship. And I'll also be giving you um, specific information about your finances and your career. Um, so things that can be blocking your money, ways that you can make more money and things of that sort. And then I'll also be um, doing a healing message from spirit at the end of that extended video. So because I'm doing all 12 zodiac signs, I know that purchasing the extended videos can start to add up um, because people watch their sun, their moon, their rising and their Venus sign. So that can rack up. So basically I'll be giving you somewhat of a discount. Um, you'll be able to purchase all 12 zodiac sign extended videos for $12 and 12 cents. So basically it's like each extended video will be a little bit over a dollar if you buy it in bulk so yeah you still have the option of buying it separately like you can buy your sun moon rising and venus you know separate if you want to um, buy each one separately i mean but if you want to save a bit of money and if you want to um, be able to watch all 12 um, extended videos then you can go ahead and purchase that for twelve dollars and twelve cents so i will leave the link to that in the description box down below so just wanted to give you guys that information um so yeah we're going to now jump into your 2020 energy readings. I really hope that it is helpful and let's dive into okay, it. Okay, Gemini, so this is going to be your 2020 energy reading. Like I said in the intro, I'll be doing um, your finances, your love life, um, and your spiritual slash healing messages in more detail um, in the extended video. But for this video, we'll be doing your overall energy for 2020. All right, so let's dive right into it. The first two cards out are the Two of Wands and the Nine of Swords. All right, so with the Two of Wands being here, um, some good news that you have to look forward to in 2020 is that your mind is going to be expanding a lot. Um, your way of viewing the world, the way of viewing yourself is going to be completely and totally different than what it once was. And because of this, you are going to be taking a lot more action towards the things that you want. I think that before you saw yourself in a certain light that was kind of skewed like you didn't really know who you were um it's like you only knew what people told you about yourself like you only knew who you were through the lens of other people and sometimes that lens was not negative was not positive i mean so if someone had a very negative viewpoint of you um, at times you could adopt that like you could internalize that but this year that won't be happening it's like you're deciding exactly who you are this year and you're not letting anyone else dictate that so it looks like your self-esteem um, will be boosting this year and because of that you will be taking a lot of uh, direct action towards the things that you want out of life um, i'm also seeing here that a lot of creative ideas are going to be coming to you this year and you're finally going to be taking the action towards those creative ideas let me see if anything else um i do feel like at first this is going to feel a bit strange to you or a bit foreign like having your own identity and not really caring what other people think or um, just doing your own thing and not caring. It's something that I'm picking up that it's something that's different for you. I think for a long time, um, people have just put you in a box. And so it's, it's at first, it's going to be very uncomfortable for you to step outside of that box and for you to create uh, the image or the life for yourself that you want. And a lot of people are going to try to remind you of who you used to be. That's why I'm seeing a lot of the discomfort coming from. It's like, you know exactly who you want to be you're looking forward but it's like these people reminding you of who you used to be and just remember that these are the type of people who they themselves can't grow or elevate so they are projecting that onto you so pay no mind to them this year try your best not to um because they are going to try to shame you or remind you of things that you did wrong in the past and you're needing to just uh, let them talk and continue to stay very firm and confident um, in who you are now and who you want to be with the nine of swords being here in reverse i do feel like a lot of you have experienced a lot of difficult um, situations or challenges within your life and sometimes you can um, really get down on yourself because of it like i'm hearing a lot of uh, negative thoughts a lot of self-defeating thoughts and um, 
just be very careful because I'm hearing um, that your thoughts are expanding at light, at light speed this year. So basically what that means is that um, you're going to have abundance this year of whatever you spend your most time focusing on. So when people hear abundance, they usually hear it in a good way, like an abundance of money, um, an abundance of love. But abundance also has a shadow to it. Like you can have an abundance of negative thoughts. Uh, you can have a abun an abundance of... Um, what is it, negative habits. Um, I'm not sure if abundance would be the, the word, the correct term to describe the negative aspect of it. Maybe it's a different word, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. So yes, you are guaranteed abundance this year, but it depends on where you plant those seeds. Wherever you plant is going to grow at light speed this year. So be careful of your thoughts. Um, be very careful of your thoughts because certain types of thoughts that you feed, like I said, they're going to manifest at light speed. And I'm not saying that you have to try to force negative thoughts away from you because that would be counterproductive. The more you try to block out negative thoughts, uh, the more they come. But you're needing to not let your thoughts dictate uh, the way that you view yourself, the way that you view life. Just kind of observe those thoughts and let them pass. Um, try your best not to let them weigh you down and for you to take action on those thoughts because they can often, like I said, be very self um, self defeating type of thoughts also in order for you to kind of combat those thoughts keeping yourself busy like with positive work like not escape not escape this sort of thing things but like keeping yourself busy so that your mind is not idle and your mind doesn't have too much time to basically uh, spiral into negative thinking is going to be very beneficial to you for some of you in 2020, you're making a lot of strides with your uh, mental health. Like your mental health is greatly improving um, because so for some of you, your mental health has been your greatest battle or your greatest challenge when it comes to just your viewpoint of the world. And so it looks like some of you are overcoming um, issues with your mental health or you're finding ways to cope that make your life much more enjoyable and much more bearable is what I'm seeing. Yep, okay, so let's move on to the next two cards. We have the Tower card and we have the Judgment card in the reverse. All right, with the Tower card being here, I do feel like um, right now the energy I'm picking up is that some of you are expecting disaster in 2020. And um, that's understandable because a lot of you have gone through very difficult, challenging times in the past few years. I don't see any tragedy striking. I really don't. Um, and I'm reading for obviously a bunch of people, so it's a general reading, um, but I don't see any catastrophes happening. I'm seeing that they're more so happening in your own mind because of the, the past few years. It could have been that like each year there was something catastrophic that happened. Like when you think back to 2016, there was this, this huge thing that happened that just you know hurt you. Then the next year, it's that other big event that hurt you. Then 2018, there's this big event that hurt you. So every year there's like this one big event that takes place that just destroys you emotionally. And so now it's almost like you're expecting, all right, what's going to be that event in 2020? What's going to happen now? You know, who's going to leave me now? Like what's going to, but I don't see that happening. I don't, I just feel like your mind is going to try to play tricks on you a lot this year and you're needing to try your best to overcome um, those thoughts because just because there was a cyclical pattern in the past, it doesn't mean that it will continue, but your brain obviously doesn't know that. Like it's your brain's job to protect you from any type of disaster. So if a disaster happens over and over, your brain has now taken, uh, taken um, sorry, I just lost the word. Your brain has now basically paid very close attention to the fact that, oh, take a note, there we go, sorry. Your brain has taken note of all the things uh, that have gone wrong and your brain is kind of like, okay, these things have gone wrong and it caused a lot of pain, so now how do I avoid it? So your brain is constantly on avoid, avoid, avoid. And in order to do that, your brain has to be scanning consistently and continuously for danger. So that's why those thoughts are hard to uh, rid yourself of because your brain is trying to protect you from these things happening again. But um, they are, they're not gonna happen again. You know, they're not going to happen again. Um, it looks like this year, the worst is over. Like I said, I'm reading for a lot of people. So um, there may be things that take place this year that are painful, but for the most part, I see that you can relax and that um, you don't, and that's easier said than done, of course. Like I said, a lot of you are dealing with mental health issues that kind of just make this worse, um, this thinking or this thought process worse, which you're gonna be getting help for that this year, which is a good thing. Um, but like I said, it, it's like this year, you're going to get to relax your mind. And it's not going to be easy at first because you're so used to being on high alert is what I'm seeing. I also was seeing um, 
which is very interesting um, because this came through in the Aquarius reading. I am seeing that some of you are stepping into some type of fame or spotlight. And yeah, it's, it's a very similar message as the Aquarius reading. Some of you could have Aquarius in your chart, but I am seeing some of you stepping into the spotlight or having more responsibility. And um, you think you're going to be judged harshly or you are afraid of the consequences of that responsibility or of that fame. Um, but the, the consequences are not going to be as harsh as you think. Like you're basically thinking about all the things that are going to go wrong and um, it's all in your head. You're not going to be judged as harshly as you think. And like I explained in the Aquarius reading, it doesn't have to be like international fame. It could be like you get a, a raise at your job or um, a promotion at your job, sorry. And now you have a lot more responsibility and a lot more people relying on you because of the position that you're in. And um, you're afraid of letting people down or you're afraid of um, letting yourself down. And it looks like you're not going to. You're not going to. These are all fears that I'm not going to say they're they're pointless because like I said there is a point fear is designed to help you to avoid pain but um, sometimes fear can be the thing that actually causes us pain because we take certain actions based off of our fear which then blocks our blessings so just be careful and be mindful of that I'm trying to see what else I think that's it that's coming to that's coming through for these two your brain is just your your mind is what you need to protect the most this year like your mind is going to be I'm not going to say that your like your your mental health or like your mind is fragile but you just need to protect it like people always say guard your heart you know but guard your mind <laughs> guard your mind too um cuz that's just as important because when your mind is warped and you you have like this negative perception or this negative energy um, that has been implanted there by other people it really does change your whole outlook on life which in turn changes your whole life experience so just be very mindful of that. Um, so we have the Eight of Swords here, along with the Nine of Wands. So with the Eight of Swords being here, again, this talks about mental entrapment um, that you are needing to overcome. And it's interesting because I'm, I'm hearing that it's not mental entrapment coming directly from you. It's almost like other people. Um, I'm sensing that this year you're going to be elevating and there's people around you who they are very used to you playing a certain role or they're used to be you being a certain way and it can be a bit bothersome for them that they um that they see you evolving and it's not it doesn't have to be malicious um it, it might sound that way and for some of you it is that way but that's not always the case sometimes it's just like you have a close friendship or maybe a partnership and your partner is elevating and maybe that's a little intimidating because you don't want to get left behind like it could be that like i'm not saying for everyone there's like this jealous envious person in your midst like that wants to keep you down it doesn't have to be that sinister um, but for the most part yeah I just feel like you are elevating this year and maybe there are people around you who could be a bit intimidated by that now if they are good people and they are friends of yours then um, they'll be able to discuss this with you or you'll be able to sense it and discuss it with them and then maybe encourage them or motivate them so they don't feel like kind of intimidated by your growth and they um, you know take part in growth of their own but if it's people who have no interest in growing and they're just intimidated by your growth there's not going to be much you can do about that in all honesty um if anything that'll just reveal the snakes in the grass you know when you start to elevate and acquire you know abundance you'll see who's happy for you and who isn't um but yeah like i said for the most part i'm not getting anything too malicious or sinister like i'm not predicting um that people are going to be like hating on you and then you gotta you know uh cut ties uh, not necessarily i mean for some of you that's what it is but like i said overall it's just this energy of you expanding and um, other people feeling a bit uncomfortable and you're going to have to um, handle that accordingly depending on who that person is um, but what, what you don't want to do is to keep yourself in a box just because other people are used to you being a certain way you see like maybe you are used to being like the goody two shoes like you don't go out you know you you stay home and you know maybe you're used to that image and other people are used to that as well but maybe this year you want to be like somebody who parties a lot and goes out a lot and other people might be like wait what, what are you doing like this isn't even you like you're being a fraud and and that might be very um 
at first that might be difficult to adjust to because one of the main reasons that we don't make drastic changes in our lives is because other people have put us in a box or they see us a certain way and we don't want to look like a fraud or a phony in their eyes. So that's just something you're going to have to get past and push past. Eventually they will get used to the new you and you will get used to the new you. You know, you're not required to stay the same um, year in and year in and year out, you know, just because other people aren't uncomfortable with change is what I'm seeing. Um, with the Nine of Wands being here um, in the reverse. I do feel like uh, for a lot of you, again, this has something to do with your mental health. This keeps coming up, but this is your mental health in relation to other people. Some of you, um, your mental health like working on your mental health or making uh, progress with your mental health is what uh, is the growth that people are seeing. It's directly connected to you um, focusing on your mental health. It's helping you to grow and to elevate. And um, that's what can be making people feel a bit uh, uncomfortable or a bit like intimidated is what I'm seeing. Yeah, because I see like a lot of you um, improving your mental health and then in turn that improves every area of your life. It, imp it improves your finances, your self-esteem. Um, it, it improves like every area of your life. And people, like I said, they, they can be a bit intimidated by this. Um, but if they're wise, they'll use it to elevate themselves. They'll use you as a template or a blueprint to elevate. Now, this could be vice versa. This could be that some of you are seeing other people around you elevate and it's intimidating to you. Make sure that this year you use that as a driving force to take action. Don't allow envy or jealousy um, or intimidation to be the thing that keeps you from acting. Use that as a driving force. Like a lot of people think envy, fear, uh, jealousy, those are negative emotions, but that's not the case. They're just emotions that are trying to tell you something. So this... Um, envy or this intimidation you could be feeling don't see it as a shameful thing see it as okay this means that i am missing something in life that i desire so let me go after it you see what i'm saying so 2020 is about the year of going after it 2020 is about um is the year about uh not staying in a box any longer not letting certain emotions or certain doubts uh, keep you stuck or keep you small this is the year that you use all of your emotions and your feelings both good and bad to your advantage is what i'm seeing and it'll benefit you and it'll benefit those around you as well is what i'm seeing another message that i was getting is that um you're being pushed into the spotlight. I heard that very clearly. And again, this is so similar to the Aquarius reading. I heard pushed into the spotlight, meaning that a lot of you are really being, I wouldn't say forced. <laughs> it it, it kind of feels that way though. Kind of like forced into more responsibility, forced into this position where a lot of people will be looking at you and looking up to you and respecting you. And um, I'm, I'm feeling like a leadership energy from some of you like you're the leader of something it, it's going to be different for everyone because this is a general reading but i do feel like um that's why this transformation is so important that's why working on your mental health and working on your self-image that's why it's so important because you're stepping into some sort of spotlight where you're going to be responsible for other people or other people will be looking up to you and respecting you and again this will be different for everyone this will be like um for some people, again, you got a, a promotion at work that gives you more responsibility. Maybe you're an entrepreneur and you're hiring your first employees. Maybe you are becoming a parent for the first time and you're nervous because you know that comes with responsibility. You know that comes with you know a child that's gonna look up to you and respect you. For some of you, it's like fame literal fame where you're going to be acquiring a lot of uh, followers fans and things of that sort and you know the responsibility that comes with that so um for some of you it's happening very quickly like you're thrust into the spotlight and some of you feel like you're not ready um and and for some of you it makes you almost feel naked like it makes you feel like oh god like people are looking at me um but again that's why this transformation is so important it's preparing you for that it's preparing you for um other people relying on you other people having opinions on on you um, because like going back to the first card in the reading the two of wands you're basically being taught how to uh, right now in in the um past few years like the things you've been going through has been teaching you how to stop seeing yourself through the eyes of other people and start uh, loving yourself and having a positive self-image based off of who you see yourself as so that when you step into this position this spotlight whatever this position is that you're going to be entering in 2020 um, other people's judgment or other people um, looking at you or, or labeling you a certain way won't hurt you as much because you've been basically be, being prepared for it. 
see what I'm saying? You've been going through all these tests throughout the years that are going to, that were strengthening you um, and strengthening your, your self image. So you're being directly prepared to step into this spotlight. Even if you feel like you're not ready, uh, you definitely are ready is what I'm seeing. All right. So that is it, Gemini. We are going to jump into your extended video now. Um, the link to that will be in the description box down below, and we will be discussing your love life specifically. And um, we'll also be talking about your finances, and then we'll do a healing message from spirit. So I will leave the link to that down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my Vimeo channel. Bye.